I've had a long interest in photography. I studied uh, photography at art school. As a curator, I work on research, doing a lot of research, which is either allied to um, exhibitions or publications or public programs. Art museums program thing a number of years out, so you're always working on something that's down the track a year or more. Part of every week is going out and looking at shows and meeting with artists, and that's, again, that's one of the really great parts of this kind of a job because you do get to go and look at shows and you do get to uh, meet with lots of people. You know, it's fantastic. It's the world of visual arts, the world of ideas. The photography collection here at the National Gallery of Victoria is a big collection. It's got over 15,000 works of art in it and it's the second largest collection that the NGV holds. We have work from the 19th century, 20th century and 21st century and the oldest work that we hold is from 1841 and it's by William Henry Fox Talbot, one of the inventors of photography and it's a beautiful tiny little portrait of a man. We also hold um, daguerreotypes which was the other early 19th century type of photograph. While Fox Talbot's works were I guess the precursor to photography as we often think about it which is something that's reproducible. Uh, daguerreotypes are unique images, so the metal plate that the image appears on is the metal plate that was in the camera when the photograph was taken. So they're one-off images. I think they're among our great treasures. We also hold a range of 19th century things from across Australia and internationally. So we have works by people like Alexander Gardner, made on the expeditions crossing the United States. We have a wonderful collection of early studio portraits by J.W. Lint that he made in his Grafton studio. We have fantastic Melbourne scenes by Nicholas Kerr, a 19th century photographer. And then into the 20th century, um, we have all sorts of people. We represent Man Ray, August Sander, Diane Arbus, Robert Frank, we collect work of Japanese artists and in fact I think some of the most interesting Japanese works we hold are actually not 20th century works but 19th century works and they're the wonderful hand coloured studio photographs that were made in the 1870s and into the 1880s. Fantastic theatrical tableau, they're marvellous things. Amongst contemporary work we collect quite widely we have a very, very strong holdings of Australian contemporary photography with um, a real emphasis on Victorian and Melbourne based artists, but also representing international artists. So among the you know, big contemporary international figures, we have works by Cindy Sherman, uh, Thomas Roof, Thomas Demand, Candida Hofer, so quite a, a range of artists from recent years, which is terrific. One of the most exciting things that's going on with our collection at the moment is really the um, increased opportunity to collect contemporary work. And that's, there's a real emphasis in our collecting at the moment, which I think over the next three to five years will transform this collection. Because this is a public asset, we have to be really mindful of ensuring that it's in the best possible condition for the longest possible time. Ideally, we want things to last forever. Um, not everything lasts forever. I don't know if anything does.